What is going down everybody? It is your boy Zary and before we get into the video I just want to remind everybody if you're under level 15 and you want $10 worth of free stuff go to your settings go to use promo code and type in XMG gifts. You do that you'll get $10 worth of free stuff it helps support the channel. So if you're under level 15 make sure you're using that promo code XMG gift. Enjoy the video. What is happening in my YouTube family? It is your boy Zary, and I'm back. It's a couple days off, no, more than a couple days, but things have been crazy busy as I've talked about on the Discord and a little bit on the community tab. Got promotion at work, so cleaning up that area, getting it a little better, so things might be a little intermittent, hit or miss for the time being. Um, but thank you for all the congratulations and the love, the support, and all that stuff. But tonight we're just here to talk a little bit about the Health Day event. These are my favorite things in the game of Dragon Champions. And I, I don't know why, but man, I love them. And this one was really good. Not the best. I think the last one was the best. And I'm going to kind of get into that and talk about the event, where I place. We'll kind of go over my roster a little bit, just so everyone can kind of see where I'm at and what I'm working with. Notice the music wasn't coming through, so put that on. But anyways, health day event came, and we were playing for Rowley. And I had Rowley, the new video, I had it all, the infographs already, and I was talking to Bones. And thank goodness I did, because I love that man. He, we were texting back and forth today. He's like, what do you think of Raleigh? And I'm like, she's a little bit underwhelming. He's like, really? I like her quite a bit. And then I checked, and I didn't level up any of her abilities. So, yeah, I kind of got to go back through and <laughs> redo that on her. So, thank you, Bones. So, that, that'll that be coming out this week, the Raleigh for Noobs video. And I am also going to be filming the first quarter of 2021 tier list. And I'm going to break it up. There's 79 characters in the game now. So we're going to be breaking that up. And I'm going to roll that out in the groups of 10. So I can talk because some people like when I talk. Some people don't like when I talk. So, And I kind of switched up that. So when that video starts, we'll get into that. But back to the health day event. I finished 56. I was really shooting for the top 50 for Rowley. I really, really wanted to get 145 shards. I ended up getting 80 shards of her, and I'm okay with that. But I ran out of steam at the end. I was like top 25 to like the last two days, and then I just plummeted. And then in the last hour, I was able to creep back up a little bit to almost got up to that 50 mark, but I just didn't have enough resources to do it. And kind of go over what I did. I did 69 tournament battles during the course of this event, and I don't know, normally I don't do that many at all, but I was trying to pound them out as much as I could because I felt like I was getting more than just the tournament rewards, so I really, really like how they do that. I, I love these style tournaments. Obtain the highest rating in any tournament. I did not hit, so I'm okay with that. I mean, if you're getting one in a tournament, you deserve a little bit extra, so whatever. Come back to the game two days in a row. Send a message in chat. I kind of like that one. It was interesting to see what everybody wrote there. Complete all daily quests. If you do it three times in a row, you get 2,000 points. So just, you know, rewarding you for doing what you normally do in the game. Participate in arena battles. I mean, you got to do two of them a day anyways, so that's pretty obtainable. Complete the highest floor and tower. I love how you could sim that and still get it. Reach two-time modifier in tournament, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times. I would have loved to have seen a ten time in there. You know, nine and ten as well. That, that would have been cool. Um, and collect battleground points. This one, for me, I was nervous because I forgot you got the points for winning. Luckily, I had a pretty easy matchup because the guy didn't attack me or Gale, whoever it was, didn't attack me. So I was able to, to get that. So that was pretty nice there. Now under heroes, 
I want to give some big props here because I really, really like this. Because when I'm looking it over, I'm like, oh, great. I've already upgraded Ambo and Lance. And in my head, I'm like, this stinks for people who have already upgraded. And then all the points came through. So you get rewarded for stuff you've already done, which is the way it should be. I think that's great. Because then it, like, because I was like, oh, man, that we're going for Rowley. You know, so should I not level Rowley because the next tournament she could be the one I got to get points for. But all the points came through. Really, really like that. I think it's cool. Two ball. Same thing. All my points came through. Upgrade any hero to the highest power. This one is my highest character is 30,400. So if I broke that with any other character, I would just get more points for it. For me, that one was kind of unattainable, so I just, I didn't want to sink all that stuff, because I saved all my drop coins. I had like 13,000 going into this event, and I saved them all so I could buy gear to level up my characters. And then attain Ambo and Lance Hero Stones. I got 312, 312 out of the 330 possible points. Pretty happy with that. I mean, you're getting them throughout the tournament, so, and you know, if you farm her them every day you're getting points there i like that how they, they they pick a couple characters and they let them go um the only thing that i'd like to see is like two bald maybe pull out two bald and rowley was the the reward so i'll kind of talk about that in a little bit but what i'd love to see like here this last chest you get enough to unlock her make that make her like a one star unlock and you get enough to unlock her. And then under heroes, instead of it being two bald, have it be Rowley. I'd like this I, I'd love to see that little touch for whatever character you're unlocking. You get that last chest, you get that character at one star. I think that'd be a really cool way to do it. So all even if you can't participate at the highest level, you get her. And then the rewards that you get from the tournament did lets you progress them, right? So your, your rating here, or your rating rewards, you would unlock her, you, you get her at one star, and then I'd get an additional 80 shards for where I placed, or however that worked out, right? I think that would be a really, really cool way to do it, and maybe if Lizard Breath and the team is listening, that's something maybe you could think about incorporating, because I really think that would give people a little more drive, because, you know, to, to, if... If you're participating, but you just don't have the roster to get up to, you know, past maybe the 500 mark, you're not unlocking that character and you feel so discouraged. And I, I think that could be a really cool way to make sure everybody gets her. You get a one star unlock and it just helps out your roster. And then your overall rating rewards just help you boost that character. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. I'd really like to know what you think about that. And then under heroes as well, you know, obtain any hero stones. I just go through, and this is where I blow through all that currency in, to in arena and tower, and I just buy it all till they're gone. Upgrade rune levels. You got to do that anyways. And I had a couple pop for me where, you know, the dailies where I had to bring them up to 16 anyways for the battle pass. So that was sweet. And then upgrade artifact levels. Um, under resources, we'll see we got points for doing chests. So, I, I spent a lot of my gold. I had been hoarding my chests. And I'll kind of go over that in a minute as well. Spend draw coins. See, I spent 19,000 draw coins during this event. And like I said, I think I had like 13,000 or 14,000 saved up. And then, as I was, you know, getting my dailies and things like that, I didn't buy any additional draw coins. It was all stuff I'd hoarded and um, got throughout the, the tournament. Gold chest. I had 12 gold chests saved up for this event. I had 19 ability chests, but let's check out artifacts. 108. Now, I did end up buying 8 of them with draw coins at the end to try to push up and see if I could get into that 50 range. That didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. I had 32 artifact upgrade chests, and I had 11 hero chests saved up and hoarded for this event. Spend health 
health coins. I spent all 5,000. Um, spend 1,000 campaign energy. So for every 1,000, you got 1,000 points. So that was pretty easy. Because I liked how they gave you energy in the chest rewards. Thought that was a nice touch. And then spend gold. I spent 15 million gold in this event. But I got a lot of that from when I opened up all those gold chests. So that's how I did in this event. Now, when it comes to the rewards here, they were kind of underwhelming for me in what you received. The scroll ability chest, that was huge. Um, and as you went up, you know, 600 energy, 500k gold. I like this, you got shield and speed on a tenacity rune. Here, 50 blue scrolls. 15 superior scrolls or legendary sorry 2 million gold that's awesome i, I would have liked to have seen this been a little bit higher i mean that's not even half of what it takes to bring somebody up to a t7 so i mean that's a lot of work for some people to put in and i would have liked to have seen this a little bit better maybe maybe half of, of one would be cool and again i'd like to see just the one star unlock for the character for the tournament. I think that would be a really cool addition to it. And I mean, I'm not going to complain about 2 million gold here. Speed, shield, and tenacity on a tenacity rune. Awesome. So, the rewards to me, just a little bit underwhelming. I felt the rewards in the last event were, were better. You know, they kind of popped a little bit more. But, I mean, still, I'm not going to complain because you get them by doing your daily things. The one thing I don't like about these, and I talked about hoarding a couple times in this video, is it pays to hoard your chests. Now you can continue to level your character, and and you're gonna it's gonna benefit you. And I and I really really hope they keep that that way because it really really makes a big difference to me because I don't want to not level somebody up and try to save them because they might be the next big tournament. So I think that's a huge plus. But hoarding your chess is big. And to me, I don't mind doing it. Like I already got almost five artifact and artifact upgrade chests ready to go next time around. But this ability one hurts me. Like the artifacts, I got a lot of those and I got a lot of them to work on. But you know, I I don't like hoarding aspects in games. You should be able to, if you get it, you should be able to unlock it and not have to worry about it. And for me, that's the one thing I dislike about these tournaments is if you're a hoarder, you're kind of rewarded for hoarding. And I don't like hero collectors when they have that mechanic. Thank God it's not on characters. That is the most refreshing thing but i and i understand because it's a way to get points and they want people to use their drop coins to do it and then you people can just buy all the drop coins they want and just upgrade the chest these are meant to be money makers but that's and it's not it's not really even that big of a negative to me because the chest themselves it's all free stuff so i don't mind waiting for the next event to come around to open them all because then I get excited and I do this big chest opening thing but that's the only real negative I have about these events health day event I think to me was a big success and I like it quite a bit and again these are my favorite things I did I, I don't know why like the competitive side comes out on me and I can't wait to get in and get more points and see how many points I'm doing and constantly oh it went away it reset but i constantly am in there looking at okay who's close to me how many more points like i i don't know i just really really like it so let me know what you think of these events down there and i've had some people just kind of ask how i'm doing with the dwarves and the half pigs so we're going to kind of just go into my account and see where we are i have boardwin almost seven star just been farming him every single day i've had to pull back on my scroll farm to accommodate all the characters I'm farming. But I'm okay with that right now. 
um, because I almost have all the characters at least ability level 6. So, it's okay. Anything extra I have, I put into gear or blue scrolls, depending on blue or green, depending on what I'm missing. So, Boardwin is 48 out of 100. All abilities are level 6. Zappy. Zappy is 22 out of 85. So, I have her 5 star. So, hopefully, the legendary event needed for the dwarves is going to be 5 star unlock. But I continue to grind her every day. And I did T7 her cr critical pirouette. I, I really think that T7 ability is great. Applies crit damage increase to, for 2 turns to all allies. Restoring 15% charge and additional 10% charge to Boardwin and herself for each dazed enemy. Huge. If Zappy's charge reaches 100%, she and Boardwin gain potency increase for 2 turns. Love that ability. I really, really think it's huge for her, so I did upgrade that. And she is slowly becoming one of my favorite plug-and-play characters in Battlegrounds. She hits like a truck, and I just have her all potency. The debuff she puts out, she's becoming one of my favorites. Sent in Turion, I have 6 out of 100. Um, all abilities level 6, so okay there. And Sent in Turion, if you haven't used them, they are a really good plug and play option for kind of like a mishmash team that needs a defender. They are pretty survivable. Um, you could make a case for them to be one of the better defenders in the game, for sure. Tool. Tool, I have 10 out of 100. And all abilities level 6. Now, Tool, to me, is not my favorite dwarf. And once the doors are released, all of them will kind of go over that. But his serious injury is no joke. Um, that is a good move. But he's just not my favorite in the dwarfs, but he's not my he's not terrible by any stretch of the imagination. Ambo and Lance, almost seven stars. I was able to really crank them out over that health day tournament. So and all abilities level six. And almost gear eleven on them. I need some biggies life essence, I think. Yeah. So fourteen more of those and I can take um, Ambo and Lance to gear 11 and unfavorite them. Wukong I'm also currently working on. Um, I've kind of stopped working on Wukong for the dwarves and half pigs, but passively gearing him up. So I got him up to level 9. I did T7 his monkey business. I really think that is a huge T7. And Archie and Ro, almost 5 star. And all abilities level 6, gear level 10. So after I finish off gear leveling Ambo and Lance to gear 11, I will finish off Archie and Row. Archie and Row is probably my least favorite half pig. They don't really mesh too well with the other half pigs. Great on a bleed team. Absolutely vital to a bleed team, but maybe more will be coming, or if we get Wiz and Ard, we can um, kind of figure out if they, if they synergize a little bit better. Two bald. 17 out of 65. I will be hoarding all of my battleground currency from here on out. So hopefully he drops into the battleground. So I can get him up to 5 star. And continue to work him. He is probably my favorite dwarf. I absolutely love him. I did T7 his emergency recharge. Where you gain 20% charge. Gains critical chance increase, crit damage increase, and then restores 25% charge to all allied dwarves. Spreading that charge around is so vital to the dwarves the more I play with them. So I did upgrade that to T7. Too bad he's not really usable. I got him up to gear 9 passively. And then Zelenar is kind of always kind of put to the back burner for me. 12 out of 65. Like I said, not huge into the tournaments, but he's actually a really good character. Do have him all his abilities up to level 6. So, that is kind of a plus. Thanisa, I was just gearing. You know, when you get your dailies, where you have to put on a level and piece of gear. That's how I do it. I, I pick a character, I level them up, and I put on a couple pieces of gear. That isn't going to impact my other characters. And I go from there. <clears throat> and that's exactly what I'm doing with Raleigh right now. 
So, Rowley, I'm putting scrolls into. Right here. I'm just waiting to upgrade her tomorrow because I'm in no rush. And then I can pop on some runes to her. And free up some space in my rune inventory. So that'll be kind of sweet. Um, I did put on... A couple... Where is it? <coughs> Excuse me. Onto Hard Orc. I did put on a T7 to the Power Solo. Because it does reduce the initial cooldown by 1. Putting up that ability block for 2 turns. <clears throat> even though it's still 80% chance. Is phenomenal. His T7s make him one of the best characters in the game. And Bone said it in one of his videos, they become meta. So, hard works T7s are worth worth it. And, you know, I'm, I got a lot of gear 11s. I'd love to see gear 12 be a different color than gold. Especially when it comes to tournaments. Because so I'm like, oh, I got this team. And then they have a gear 12 and I didn't click on them to look. These are really only the characters I have left to take to gear 12. And I will get there. So, there's my account. There's my thoughts and feelings of the Health Day event. I really, really, like I said, enjoy those events. So let me know what you think of those events and how you all did. I'd love to know. And let me know how you're doing in your dwarves and half pigs. With that being said, that's all I got for everybody tonight. So if you're just finding me for the first time, you liking what you're seeing, click that subscribe button, turn on notifications, all the good stuff that goes along with it. For my XMG family members out there, you know I love you. Thanks again for all the love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Mount.